There are many kinds of computers on the market, and many changes have come in the way that they have appeared from their initial development in the early and mid 20th century to now. As we look at these machines, we find that certain core components are shared between these various models. The basic abstract concept of the modern computer was described by John von Neumann, a br brilliant mathematician and polymath whose interests ranged from economics to physics to world affairs, and most importantly to us, computers. When we consider a computer, we have devices like the keyboard, the mouse, a trackpad, a touchscreen, etc. These components can be abstracted to a simple idea, input. On the opposite side, we have monitors, printers, even an Oculus Rift, which can be abstracted as output. Where von Neumann made his most influential marks were in the organization of the components in between the input and output. Here we see a motherboard containing the central processing unit, or CPU. The purpose of the CPU is to read and process all of the instructions. The CPU has some short-term memory that is close to the processor, and then can fetch other data from long-term memory, such as the hard disk. Program instructions are often fetched and then stored in RAM, which is a level of memory in between the onboard memory and the hard disk. These components make up the middle part of what we call the von Neumann architecture, which combines the CPU and memory in such a way that we have what we consider a stored program computer. The CPU has an arithmetic logic unit, the ALU, and a control unit both of which play a key part in executing the programs that we write. Our next section will talk more about memory and why a programmer will need to know how the memory in a computer works in order to really take advantage of their resources.